Bid mo ang payat na ba tayo? Ako! <laughs> Hey everyone, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And in today's episode, we are unboxing two brand new Jordan sneakers. The first one is a really kick-ass Jordan 4, which is the newly released Jordan 4 UNC. And I have another pair, a Jordan 5, which I think is called like the Raging Bull. So if you're excited to see both sneakers, I'll do an on feature review of the UNC J4s as well. Keep on watching. Let's go. Before we get started, let me just plug, uh, this is actually our new shirt. So this is a collaboration with a Filipino artist called Jaya. So if you take a look at the front, these are actually icons of the closing line that I have here in the show, which is peace, God bless, what's up, boom. And then at the back, there's actually a really nice design of a toy that we collaborated on. It's a limited edition run, 12 pieces. If you guys want to order one, it's still available on Lazada. There are still a few uh, in certain sizes. Just add to cart, check out, and then enjoy. Jump right into it. So you have the Jordan 4 in this white and cement colored box. Uh, UNC colors, that's what's making this shoe kind of hype because it's not often that you see UNC colors on the Jordan 4s. And it's actually very close to the... Jordan 4 PEs that came out in the same, almost same color uh, a couple of years back. But bam, take a look at that. You have that light blue or UNC blue suede upper over here. Take a look at the tongue tab. You have the Jumpman logo with flight and then this extra tag that says 23, which is of course Michael Jordan's number. You have the gray cement accent that you can find on the lower part of the shoe, as well as near the lace guards, and of course, uh, the heel part over here with the Jumpman logo. So what do I think of the shoe? Well, I really like the color. I've been on the lookout actually for more light colored sneakers like this one. Uh, I feel that the gray accent actually also allows it to work really well with gray sweatpants, which is something I think a lot of people have been wearing because of the pandemic. Sweatpants and shorts. <laughs> more than jeans and your typical like slacks and chinos, right? Well, as if we were Jordans in the house. No? But anyway, my main point is I just feel that it looks well with jogger pants. Now in terms of comfort, they aren't really the most comfortable Jordans ever or comfortable shoes ever if that's what you're looking for you're better off with running shoes but they are much much better in my opinion than Jordan 1's when it comes to support and cushioning my main issue with Jordan 4's is that the forefoot section is kind of narrow so even if I size up which I already did this is size 13 there is a tendency for this section to be a little bit tight now having said that this really is one of my favorite Jordan pickups in a while I just like the color I like the vibe it's good vibes all around it's a happy pair of shoes and which is something I think that we all need in the current situation that we're in so yeah if I were to rate this a uh, 1 to 10 I'd probably give it a solid 8 to 8.5 I'm, I'm really liking it and I look forward to wear, wearing it often uh, especially as we can go out of the house again so what do you guys think of the Jordan 4 UNC's hit the comment section down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe na rin kayo I'll try my best to reply to as many of you in the comment section by the way shout out to our good friend Good Souls PH for hooking me up with this pair and the next Jordan that you're about to see the next sneaker is something that I was really interested in but I just I, mean, I was I kept on thinking how and when I will wear it because I don't really wear red shoes often. I mean, if you take a look at my entire sneaker collection, I do not have a dominantly red shoe in circulation, in rotation. So I usually stick to the white sneakers that you see at the back or more basic color. So this one, <laughs> this one, I, I, I had the chance to buy at retail. But I passed. But the, the our friends from Good Souls PH were kind enough to send over a pair uh, just so I can unbox and share it with you guys. So I think this is called like the Raging Bull Jordan 5. You have that brownish wooden type of design for the box. Red Jumpman logo here at the top. And you know that Good Souls PH is tempting me to buy it. Because eh? they, they, when, when, when they send shoes or when sneaker resellers send me shoes to unbox, they usually don't send it in my size. But this time around, talagang he sent it in my size, oh, size 13. So makoy talagang gusto mo ako bentahan. Eh, no? <laughs> but anyway, I will not put this on feet. So I will not pay for it. But anyway, so if you flip the box open, you know... Wow, that is Red AF. So here you guys have it. This is the Jordan 5 
Raging Bull. Now, as you can see, just like the Jordan 4, uh, since this is, I think, kind of still part of the summer pack, or maybe at least before, it uses suede. So you have that red suede material, same quality as the Jordan 4 UNC that we saw earlier. But man, this is a screamer. This will really get a lot of attention if you wear it. Very, very crazy and loud shoe. Let me know what you guys think of the sneaker. Would you wear it? Uh, would you get it? Or is it something that you think would gather dust in your sneaker shelf or cabinet? Ako personally, this is one of those statement shoes that I don't think I can wear often. And that's one of the reasons why I ended up passing on it. You know, I haven't tried ever working out uh, in Jordan 4s. Babe, na ba tayo? Ako! So, nandito na tayo sa gym, babe. Hawaii high ka naman. So, pang workout natin yung Jordan 4. Kinain ko lang yung beef lettuce, half rice. Ano yung beef ko? Ah, then ano tayo? Okay guys, hindi talaga siya pang workout. Hindi siya komportable. Okay, mas okay pa rin to. Project Rock Under Armour. Woohoo! Okay, pagkatapos ng workout, kain naman. So, we are back with our Carlo Cook segment. And alam ko medyo nagsasawa na kayo magluto ko ng steak. But that's actually what we have for lunch. So, we have ribeye. Uh, over here, na nakuha natin sa rare food shop. So if you guys are looking uh, for a nice online shop to buy your high quality meats, check them out. Hindi to sponsored binayaran ko yan. Uh, gusto ko lang service nila kasi mabilis sila mag-deliver at uh, super high quality yung stuff nila. So again, uh, we have two stunning, ikang ni Gordon Ramsay, pieces of ribeye. Woo. So same seasoning lang tayo guys. We have salt, we have some garlic powder, and we'll put uh, black pepper. And of course, we'll put butter. Tapos, yun. Okay, tayo konting butter. Yun. So, paano malaman kung medium rare? Sabihin natin medium rare yung gusto nyo gawin. So, ako simple lang. So, ayaan mo lang siya dyan. Tapos, pag lumalabas na yung dugo sa taas, when the blood is starting to surface, uh, that's the sign, at least for me, na medyo naluluto na siya. And that's when I flip it over. Tapos, antayin ko lang din um umakit ulit yung dugo. Pagkatapos nun, more or less, ang tansya ko lang naman. Siyempre, pwede nyo rin pindut pindutin. No? Pero, yun yung usual guide ko to see if it's medium rare. No? Kaya, no, pag nakita nyo umakit na yung dugo, so, konti na lang. Siguro, we give it a few more seconds. Pwede na natin i-flip yan. Tada! Ribeye steak. O, ba? Panalo. Okay yan, okay yan. Okay. Tapos, meron tayong parang... Ano ba tawag mo dyan, babe? Corn? Buttered corn? Buttered corn. Tsaka steak. Tapos, meron kaming pusa na sobrang excited kumain. Yan si Rumpold. Yan, nakita nyo. May padila-dila na siya, di ba? So, sobrang winner. Woo! Mukhang may plano, Bibo. May plano, may plano. Of course, meron kaming Coke Zero. Hindi po ito sponsored ng Coke Zero. Pero mahilig lang talaga ako sa Coke Zero. Hoodie body. Hoodie body. Oh. Stink Attack Hoodies, Project 71 Stink Attack Hoodies uh, in our Lazada shop. Link down below. It's a little past uh, 7 p.m. Again, still on a Saturday. Shout out, by the way, to DJ Big Boy Cheng uh, and Secret Fresh. I think this is like their Toki Doki shirt. Um, so, we actually went out. The plan was... Magpapagupit dapat ako sa podium But unfortunately, the barber shop that I would usually go to was full So ang haba ng pila So I might have to try my luck again uh, tomorrow So I didn't video anything na, uh, since wala naman nangyari However, before we end the vlog um, I just want to announce uh, and plug again So this one is our collaboration bag uh, with Volve so Volve is a brand, a Filipino brand that came out with sneaker duffel bags and then we did this bigger bag which, which is our side bag before, medyo mas malaki siya and then we decided to come up with a smaller for essentials version over here so this is your everyday carry essentials or everyday carry side bag from Project 7 to 1 and Volve now this one is dropping officially on I think May 5 and if you want to get it at a special price because those who pre-registered their interest get it for 950 versus 1200 so that's big savings I'll link it down below in the description so if you guys want one I'll just fill out the form and you'll get a note when it's already available for the special price so, diba? Ganda siya. so it's perfect for your everyday uh, gadgets and essentials. So actually, uh, the guys over at Unbox did the video on this one. So if you want to watch what Cholo did for this bag, link down below as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up this vlog for this Saturday. Make sure to tune in again tomorrow. I have a very special episode again for you. And this time, we're going to talk about money. So our making money. Oh, very exciting. That said, this is Carlos signing out. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.